You know, everyone in America hated you, right? I wouldn't say hated, I'd, I'd say ridiculed or misjudged. Really? Really? Okay, I'd like you to take a look at this. It's a survey done by TMZ, you know, and they're the 50 of highest ranked website on the internet. So what they did, they took a poll in October 2011, and they asked, How do you feel about Robin Lee? And the options were, Hate the B-I-T-C-H White trash, but which are the best? Talented and strong? And the fourth option was, I don't know her. And the results were, as you can see on the paper, 60% said, hate the B-I-T-C-H. 30% said, I don't know her. 9% said, white trash, but which are the best? And 1% said that you were talented. Now, when you read that, and I don't know if you read about it before, but when you read that, how does it make you feel? about where your career was and where you are today and who you are as a person. Well, you know what, I think that's their opinion and I think that they're, they're entitled to have their own opinion. I don't really, I don't really care what people think about me. In a sense, I mean, I, I do care. Because it's what they think that measures where I'm gonna go, but if I was to let what people thought about me drive me down, then that would just, that would ruin me. So, do you think that you are America's biggest comeback, given the success you have now? I don't know, I don't know. I, I think it's just a matter of making good music. I think, I don't think people are that interested in my personal life. Really? What about the lesbianism, the overt sexuality? Are those phases over? Now, I think being bisexual is... Well, I know being bisexual isn't exactly a phase. It's kind of who I am. So it's not a publicity stunt. No, never, never, never. So why did you do it to Drake? Drake, I didn't mean for it to be taken seriously. It was, it was just an honest joke. It's just an honest joke. And have you ever heard of a joke being taken too far? Yeah, yeah, I have, and clearly that was my mistake, it was my downfall in thinking that I had better control of the situation. Okay, well what was it like getting the backlash and getting dropped again? Because I mean, it, it couldn't have been the easiest process in the world. It was honestly the worst fucking feeling um, I ever had, because, you know, I was coming out of a failed single and things weren't going right for me. And I trusted all these people to appreciate me for me because I thought they knew me. You know, I thought that I spent enough time with these people that they would have a better understanding of who I am and the kind of things that I would do. But clearly, time was just wasn't enough. And it felt really horrible to see so many people turn on me so quickly. And it, you know what, it kind of taught me some valuable lessons in the end that I think live with me today and will probably live with me forever. When we return, Robin talks more about her music on her new album and her strange addiction to plastic surgery. More on Dateline 2020 when we return.